What's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make a starting soon screen for your streams super easily and it'll look super clean. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're at photopea.com, just go ahead and click on new project. And for the size, we're gonna be doing 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Hit create. And we're gonna turn the background to a dark gray. So go ahead and add a color overlay on the background and make it like a a gray like this kind of a lighter gray actually and now go ahead and get your pen tool over here and turn the fill to let me figure it out what I want to do maybe a blue like this so 0094 ff I might change that so hold on a second and for the stroke we're gonna be doing a dark gray so click on the red then click on this box and do like a dark gray and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna start out up here like right here just click click down here go up a little bit and then all the way down and then just go all the way across yeah I want to redo that it's not terrible I mean it could be better I'm gonna redo it until I get it right so it's gonna take some experimenting all right, now what we're going to do is get some text. So go to your type tool over here and click anywhere on your canvas and type in starting. Hit control and A to select all of it and choose this font right here. Or you can choose any other font. It's up to you. I'm going to turn the size up. We're going to try 200. Nah, 300. Yeah, 300 looks pretty good. And just move it somewhere for now. Now hit control J. Move it down and type in uh, soon. Make sure to center align it up here on both of them. It'll make it easier when you're trying to edit it if you want to, but that's up to you. And I'm gonna make this soon smaller, so maybe 200 for this one. Yeah, and uh, like that. What I'm gonna do now is get my rectangle tool down here, and I'm gonna turn the stroke off first off, and I'm gonna change the fill to this gray right here. So go ahead and click on that gray whenever you click that box. And I'm gonna draw it above the text and then move it below it about right here and now what I'm gonna do is get my line tool but go to your rectangle select right click on it and click on line and now just draw it a line like that change the fill to this blue over here and just hit control J on that layer that you just made and use your arrow key and shift to move it over to the right side like that it's looking pretty good now we're ready to just finish the text up and then I think we'll be good we might have to change something so we'll see so double click on your starting text go to gradient change it from a dark blue to the blue over here on the left like that add a inner glow change the blend mode to color dodge and turn this color to the same blue and you can adjust the spread and size and the opacity until it looks like this and now we just need to do that with the soon so gradient overlay but instead of blue we're going to do gray to white and add the inner glow and change the color to white like that now i'm sorry if that was too fast you can also add the gradient to these blue ones over here. But you're going to have to change it all. So dark blue to the light blue. And I'm going to turn off the inner glow for these lines. You can see it has it. It's kind of hard to notice, so you don't really have to do it. But if you want to, you can. But yeah, like that. Um, I'm probably going to lighten up this stroke right here and this box. So... I'm going to go back to my pen tool and turn the stroke to a lighter gray. Yeah, 4A, 4A, 4A. And with this one. 4A, 4A, 4A. Or I could have just clicked on it. Yeah, so it's up to you. It's preference on what you want. I kind of like the darker better now that I think about it. So I'm going to go with the darker. You could even do that where it's like a lighter one than dark over here. It's all preference, honestly. And uh, yeah, that's all you got to do. 
something that you can do as well is double click on your background layer and instead of adding a color overlay you can add a pattern overlay and change it to like this one which is pretty cool looking or any of these other ones this one's pretty cool as well um but it's up to you whatever you want to do and uh that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe as always i make a lot of other content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace